Hi everyone and welcome to Desar's channel. Today we are going to analyze second order systems. We are going to look at unit step response and pole zero map. Our function has this form, where is xi is damping ratio and wn natural frequency. By changing the xi value, we are going to get underdamped case, critical damped case, and overdamped case. Let's go to our hello app. Let's start making our simulation. Click prelabs, choose prelab 3 and model 1. Here in this model, we have GS controller, however, the inputs aren't arranged yet. We have zeta, which is actually xi, and we have vn, which is actually natural frequency. So, to obtain the GS of the desired form, which is written right here, we need to make some mathematical operations. First, we need a square function here to square our natural frequency and connect it to the B0 gate and A0 gate. After that, we need a multiplier here with three inputs and one constant. Sorry. Let's make, let's give the constant value two, connect our xi, connect the constant two and connect our natural frequency. And all of these are equal to A1. Well, B1 and B2 gates are going to be zero. For this reason, I put the constant here and write the zero value. We are planning to start to analyze under damped case. For this reason, I need to choose zeta or xi less than one. Let it be one over three and natural frequency can be equal to three. After that, uh, we can run our model, look at the scope and get our first under damped response. We have an overshoot here, then it stabilizes and goes uh, straight. And the yellow line here is just a unit step is a unit step function that we applied in the beginning. Now let's achieve pole zero map, double click, writing pole zero plot and double click here. We need to click plus button to add inputs and outputs of our system. And please click the double arrow, arrow here and choose the input as the unit step function on your simulink model. It becomes blue color. Go back to the log parameters and add it here. Then click on the output of your model and again go to the block parameters and move it to here. So the step is the out open loop input and GS is an open loop output. Click OK. Well, now go down, click here and then OK. Now you can run your model one more time. Click pole zero plot and obtain your pole zero map for the other damped case. We have two poles with imaginary and real axis, non-zero coefficients. By the way, please notice that the poles are on the left uh, hand plane. So it means that our system is stable. Well, now let's get the critical damped case. For To achieve this, we need to change our xi. We need to make it equal to one and run our model one more time. First, let's have a look at unit step response. And it looks like this, it has this form. And the pole zero plot. We have two coefficients, which is actually one, and it is on the real axis. The last case, over damped case, where is xi greater than one, let's choose it for example, two, click OK, run, open the unit step response, and it's uh, like this, more wide function than the previous one, and the pole zero plot left, we are expecting two, uh, we, are ex we were expecting two poles on the real axis, and it's true, it's like this, 
they are on the left hand plane which means that the system is still stable so the simulation are done thank you for watching this video hope you enjoy it if you have any questions please write them in the comments